I got there, there was a lot of controversy and yeah. some of that's not going to settle down no matter what until we get through an election. Um, I don't know how Richard operated, I just know how I operate. <laughs> um, I try not to, sometimes I'm not 100% successful, but I try to resolve differences um, outside the boardroom and in the board. So, uh, while you may not see a change per se on, on uh, how boards mean it's been run, I can tell you I think there's been a lot of change that's been done behind the scenes because I'll go in someone's office and talk to them and state my case and move things around and move things and plead my case and get things done. And I can point to a lot of things um, that I think in the year have changed. For example, going out the bid for the fireworks putting it on the agenda of who's going to do the parking. Uh, some people might not like everything that's in the ethics ordinance, but we got an ethics ordinance passed. Those are things that over a year ago probably wouldn't have happened. Um, but they're happening. And uh, it's not out there in broad light, but it's happening and we're working on it. Um, it's more of my, I guess it's a leadership style, and I prefer to do it, you know, not in the boardroom, but meeting one on one with our board members. And, in your case on what you want to get done. Um, on legacy cost, I think uh, it was in the newsletter, but you know, I think our pensions bought. Sorry, you have the exact spreadsheet in front of me, and I'm, I'm going to quote it, and then you guys can, you can poke down me that I, I don't have it right. But I think pensions are around 70, 76, 78 percent funded, and our retiree health care, we have 15, about $15 million in unfunded liability for retiree health care. Um, I'm sorry, 15 million? 15 million. Um, yeah, you know what? That's actually, thank you, because that would be helpful because I'm trying to pull numbers off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, actually, 